Hello, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and like this video. This video, I am so excited. I am going to be unboxing nail items and I am so excited specifically for this box that just got here. I ordered the Build Your Own Acrylic Kit, which should be in this box. Now, in this box should be one cuticle oil, five all-in-one acrylic powders, one acrylic brush, acrylic primer, top coat, 10 pink buffers, two straight files, and a 16 ounce liquid monomer. So that is what came under the Build Your Own Acrylic Kit. Now let's see what I got. So look at how pretty, this is such a pretty box. It says hello to your new favorite, XOXO Kira Sky. And then all this stuffing, it is actually, popcorn is in the shape of hearts. Ah, I think I wanna keep this. I don't wanna throw it away, so I'm just gonna move it to the side. Okay, so that's good enough. So there is a lot of popcorn. So here are the 10 piece buffers. Should be the acrylic coat and top coat. So let's see. This is the top coat, and you do cure it with an LED UV lamp. And this one, I think, I don't know if it's, it opened up, and it did, because it's all sticky. And we have in here, should be the cuticle oil, and I chose the rose scent cuticle oil. And it's a pretty frosted bottle. Let's see if it smells like rose. Mmm, it's really nice. It smells really nice. This is the acrylic brush, and I asked for it in number 10. I love the barrel. I love the packaging, too. So this is a number 10. Ooh, look at how pretty. Okay, so this is the brush and it's a plastic, plastic handle. It's not glass. It looks like if it's glass. Here it does say Kira Sky. It's really pretty. And you do see it is a Kowalski number 10 brush. And when I get started, I will remove all of the product that kept the bristle still for packaging and I will clean it up before use, but I'm so excited about the brush. And we should have gotten also a 16 ounce monomer. Now, when I opened this box, I did get the smell of monomer, but now uh, what I'm thinking that it was, was this acrylic primer. Try not to touch because it did come open, but this is the acrylic primer. And then the monomer it is very well packaged in its own little box and it is 16 ounces and when you get it out of the box it also comes in a bag which i greatly appreciate and you see that it has filled maybe it is what i was smelling because you see that it is wet inside but um, it didn't wet all of the other products because it's in its own bag. I'm just going to leave it standing up so it won't continue to spill. But we got a monomer from these five all-in-one powders. And so these powders, uh, from my understanding, can be used as dip powders and or acrylic powders. First one, I got it in clear. Then I got the Perfect Nude. I got the color I do, and it's a soft pink. I got it in Pink Parade. And lastly, I got it in Mauve Taupe. So those are the five acrylic powders I got. These are the two 100 files, just basic flat files. So I got everything that I was supposed to get for the Kara Sky Build Your Own Acrylic Kit. I am going to email them about this one because it is spilling and it is sticky all over. 
So I'm going to email them and see if they can send me a new one. I also got the brand new Melody Susan 2-in-1 UV LED rechargeable nail lamp and I've been seeing this on YouTube and I'm like oh my god I fell in love with it and I ordered it and I finally got it and let me show you why I am so in love with this lamp. Is it at Amazon? And it does have like a gooseneck. I love it that it's bendable. You can move it in any direction that you need to. And to use it, you don't, it doesn't need to be plugged in. And that is the great thing about it. It does come with a charging cord. And I love it that it does say Melody Susie. And then this is the on and off. So that's how bright it is. So when you're doing your nails, you have plenty of light. Also, it does have a button right here to where it is also the UV lamp. So for example, when you touch it, it changes color. And if you need to put on a full cover tip, you can easily put it and you don't have no obstructions or you're not trying to put it into your big nail lamp there. It is very easy to do it here and then after 30 seconds this will go back to regular light but this is how you turn it off and then it goes back you're ready to do another nail so then you touch it for the uv you do that and cool and then if you're done you just push the button and there you go but i love it I love the aesthetic of it. It matches perfectly with my nail drill. It is also Melody Susie and it is also in wide. And it is beautiful, it's a perfect match. I love this nail lamp, it's very sturdy. It's a little heavy, which is great. And it is just so small. And then so you can see lights underneath. It does have six for the regular light and then three for the UV. You will look like a professional for sure. This lamp looks so sophisticated, so slim, so outdated. I love the purple around the top of the lamp. So beautiful. I love it. So that is my nail lamp. I also ordered an extra acrylic brush on Amazon. Now I am beginning to learn how to do acrylic nails. I know that the fashion right now is just gel nails, but I'm a beginner and I want to start from the beginning and that's with acrylic nails. So this is supposed to be Koloski hairbrush. Um, it does say there that it's a number 10. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how it does. I love that it is pinched. And I love the chrome rainbow effect of this brush totally love that and lastly because like i said i'm a beginner i got myself a mat this is a silicone mat and this is supposed to help you do beads acrylic beads and here just you know you can do a big one medium small and then it's in patterns so you can get plenty of practice and there's also instructions here on what to do dip wipe drag weight place lift pad and or swipe and then how to do the nails the one at the bottom first then the middle then top and then your apex you get plenty of spaces to practice you also get to practice on square oval square oval almond stiletto ballerina or coffin and round and then other steps here as well and according to the instructions all you do is wait till it's dried up and then you can just like peel off the dried up acrylic and there you go you wipe it clean and then you just roll it up when you're done so it can remain its flat shape and there you go so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope that my journey to do my own acrylic nails is gonna be 
very challenging for me but i hope that i am able to learn and that i'm able to at least do a decent job on myself because these are just nails for myself these are full cover tips this is a very easy shortcut way to do my nails i will no longer go to the nail salon i refuse to go to the nail salon and that is why now i am trying to invest in all of these products because um what i spend on these salons I've already spent it here and I no longer need to buy them anymore and I have plenty for like the whole year and even more. So please pray for me that I get my nails done, that I learn how to do nice pretty acrylic nails. Um, who knows? We'll see how it goes for me, but I am so excited. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. I am so excited to get started. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.